Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Python for Machine Learning. In this video lecture, we'll be discussing about constructors, accesses, and mutators. A constructor can be defined as a special type of a method. So a constructor is actually a method or a function, but it is used only to initialize the instance members of the class. So it's actually a method, but it has got a specific purpose. A method that is used to initialize the instance members of a class is known as a constructor. And it is used to create objects. The only purpose or the only responsibility of constructors is used it is to create objects. And there are two types of constructors. They are parameterized and non-parameterized. As the name indicates, parameterized constructor is the constructor that accepts parameters and non-parameterized non means these constructors will not accept parameters. And the definitions, that is the lines of code that we write inside a constructor, it, it gets executed only when we create object. That means constructors are used only for creating objects. There is no other duty for this constructor. And it is a responsibility for of the constructors that it verifies that there are enough resources for the objects that we are creating. We defined constructor now we will see how to create constructors. For creating constructors in Python we have init method. It is this method that simulates the constructor of a class. And this method is called when we instantiate a class. That means whenever we create an instance that process is known as instantiation and that is instance means objects of a class so whenever we create an object of, object of a class we are actually creating an instance of a class it is at that point this method is getting executed this method accepts self keyword as a first argument so self is the first parameter of this init method and using this argument we can access the attributes or methods inside that class we can also pass any number of arguments when we create an object of a class but it depends upon the definition of this init method and it is mostly used to initialize the class attributes that it, it means the constructor the constructors are generally used to initialize the class attributes and every class will have a constructor even if we the programmer either the programmers will write their own constructor or else if the programmers have not written any constructor they will depend on each python program will depend upon the default constructor so at any cost or by any way there will be a constructor for a class that constructor will be either created by the programmer or it will be the default constructor provided by the python we will see an example of constructors right now We have a class, the class name is employee and see this init method, this is the constructor of the class employee and as mentioned earlier self, this keyword is the first parameter or the argument of the constructor, Apart, apart from that we can have any number of arguments. So in this example I have created the constructor with three parameters, among the three the first parameter is the self keyword and the other two parameters are the variables name and id and see how self is used to access the elements inside the class so self dot id means the id the variable inside the class and that variable is given the value of the parameter id here similarly self dot name means the variable name inside the class that variable is given the value of the variable name which is the parameter here and we have a method named display it is also having self as the first argument and we are accessing the id and name of the object by self dot id and self dot name so we can create the uh, object like this emp1 equal to employee john 101 so here emp1 is one object emp2 is another object so when we created the object one emp1 we are giving two parameters when we are creating another object we are, we are giving another two another set of values so when we call emp1 dot display it will be displaying the values john and 101 see this id id personal d then self dot id will replace this at personal d slash n stands for new line so id and this 101 that comes in one line slash n means goes in next line 
then this kind of name and colon so name and colon and percentage s this percentage s will be replaced by self dot name so we'll be getting john why we are getting 101 and john because now it is being executed the method that get, gets executed is that of the object emp1 emp1 dot display means we are actually calling the method display of the object emp1 so emp1 will display the values of its own id and name that is john and 101 similarly emp2 dot display that method call will display 102 and david because the name and id of emp2 is david and 102 so when we created this object we are actually calling the constructor so emp equal to employee david 102 means david will be copied to uh, name and 102 will be copied to id and that id and name will be copied to these two variables and see when we print self dot id and self dot, self dot name here self represents the current object so when we are calling emp1 dot display self means emp1 when we call emp2 dot display self means emp2 so emp1 dot id means the id of emp1 that is 101 so we are getting 101 as the answer self dot name means we are getting the name of emp1 which is john so we are getting the output as john similarly for emp2 we will get 102 the constructors of a class gets invoked automatically that means whenever we create an object the constructors will get invoked automatically see this example we have a class student inside that we have variable count its initial value 0 and see the constructor there is only one parameter that is self keyword and each time so here student dot count equal to student dot count plus one that is we are incrementing the value of this variable count and that is the only line of code inside the constructor and see we are going to create the object s1 equal to student so when we create the object s1 actually this constructor is getting invoked so this line of code will execute so now the value of count is 1 again we are creating second object s2 then also this constructor will be will be in executed so again this line of code will, will get executed late uh, before uh, this line was executed uh, the latest value of count is 1 now it becomes count plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 it becomes 2 again we are creating another object that is s3 so again this constructor will get executed so now the value of count is 2 initially now it becomes count plus 1 that is 3 now when we print the value of count we will be getting the value of 3 why we are getting 3 because each time when we created the object it is this constructor that that got, exe that got executed so each time the constructor get, gets executed the value of count increments here we are creating 3 objects so count increments 3 times so the value of count becomes 3 and that is what we are getting the get as mentioned before there are two types of constructors they are parameterized and non-parameterized parameterized constructors means that is capable of accepting parameters and non-parameterized means it will not have any other parameters other than the self keyword so we have seen the example before even then I have displayed two examples here the, in this constructor there is no parameter other than the self keyword so this is known as the non-parameterized constructor in this constructor apart from the self keyword there is one variable that is name so this is parameterized constructor so we know that we have mentioned this before that is if the programmer forgo to write a constructor or if, a, if the programmer have not included include any constructor in the class then the class will have the python provided constructor and that constructor is known as default constructor okay that means even if the programmer have not given the constructor every program will have a default constructor so if i am writing a python program if i have done a class inside the python program if i have not included any constructor then that class that, that, that class will make use of the default constructor provided by the python on the other hand if i have written a constructor inside the class then whenever we create the object the constructor given by me itself will get executed so either the constructor is given by the programmer or, or the default constructor any one constructor will be there for the class always so if the programmer have not written the constructor then the default constructor will work 
and default constructor will not do anything except other than to initialize the object. Next we are going to discuss about accesses and mutators. So now we know that objects are actually instances of a class. So all the methods and variables inside a class, each and every object that we create of a class will get a copy of all the methods and variables inside that class. So there must be some way by which these objects can access these internal data properly. For that there exist some methods and those methods which helps the object to access the methods and variables inside a class are known as accesses and mutators. So first of all we will see what is an accessor method. Accessor methods are those methods which can be used by an object to access the data that is hidden. That is the methods by which an object can only access the data. So we cannot use this method to modify or to alter any of the values of already existing variables. This method can be used only to access. So those methods that an object can depend to access the elements inside the object. Such methods are known as accessor methods. And to indicate that a method is an accessor, we can use the word get along with the method name. So generally, we will be using the word get along with the method name to indicate those methods that act as a accessor. On the other hand, we have mutator methods. Mutator methods are just the opposite of accessor methods. Those methods that an object can use to alter to change the value of all the existing variables inside the object. Such methods are known as mutator methods. To indicate that a method is a mutator, we use the word set. So by using this method, value of a variable can be modified or it can be set to a new value. So accessor is get and mutator is set. Accessor helps the object to get a value, mutator helps the object to set a value. Since this method can be used to modify the existing values, this method is also known as update method. So we use the word set along with mutators. Similar to get, we use set for mutators. This slide shows an example of mutator as well as accessor methods. We have a class and here it is the constructor which is a parameterized constructor. Apart from the keyword itself there is one parameter that parameter is car name and we have a set make. So as you can see the word set is here. So this is actually the mutator method which is capable of altering or modifying the already existing value of a variable. Similarly we have accessor method which is capable of returning a value or which is capable of uh, helping the object to access the value. So set is for mutator method and get is for accessor method. And here we are creating the object. The object name is my car and car is the class name. And since the constructor of this class require one parameter, we are passing one parameter here. So we have one object now. Now my car dot get make. So here as we can see the method is get make. That is this method helps the object to get a value. So it is accessing a value already existing there. The hidden value is being accessed by this method. So this is the accessor method. So we'll be getting the output as fold. Now we are going to make uh, use of the mutator method. That is already we have the variable make and its value is given as car name which I, it was initially fold. Now we are going to change the value of that variable by calling the mutator method. So set to make is a mutator method and we are passing the parameter as Porsche. As you can see, this is the mutator method. It requires one parameter and that value will be copied to the existing variable. So initially it was fold, now it become Porsche. After this line of code, if we use the get make, that is the answer method, the output that we are going to get will be Porsche because the mutator method set make have changed the value of the variable. We shall conclude now. In this video lecture we discussed about constructors in Python, different types of constructors and also 
accesses and mutator methods in Python. That is all in this video lecture. Thank you so much.